right, come on. Now, if y'all haven't been able to pick up the fact that I have a true love and admiration for Asian culture and their cuisine, baby, I don't know what recipe videos of mine you've been watching. But let me go ahead and get out this little run list of what we're doing today. Because today, we're making chow mein. Huh? Because I'm sick and tired of going to Panda Express and getting that bland ass shit they call chow mein that just ain't it and ain't going to work for me. So let me show you how to make it at home. You're going to need two packs of chow mein. You're going to need some carrots. Sweet Vidalia onion. Garlic. Green onion, bean sprout, green cabbage, baby bok choy, uh-huh, shaoxing wine, less sodium soy sauce, dark soy sauce, sesame oil, fish sauce, oyster sauce, chicken bouillon flavoring, and some accent. You see that? You see that? You see that? Don't y'all ask me for no damn ingredient list. Come on. All right, so let's go ahead and get this sauce done so that we can go ahead and work on the vegetables. So first things first, I'm going to go in with a half a tablespoon of the chicken bouillon flavor. We can go on ahead and set that to the side. I'm also going to go in and I'm going to add in about a half a tablespoon as well of the accent. This is MSG. Like I said, if y'all got a problem with MSG, I bet not find out y'all eat no damn Doritos. I'm sick and tired of people pretending like MSG is going to kill them. It's not. Okay, we're going to go in with two tablespoons of less sodium soy sauce. If you're going to use the regular so uh, soy sauce, then I would say just, just be careful. Okay, because that shit is salty. Okay, we're going to go in with one tablespoon of Shaoxing wine. Put that in. We're going to go in with not even, actually, I'm not even going to do a half of that because that's too damn much. We're going to go in with a half a teaspoon of fish sauce. Put that in. Boom, boom, pow. Two tablespoons of dark so um, soy sauce. This is going to give it some great color. Yes, baby. And then we're also going to go in with two tablespoons of the oyster sauce as well. Go ahead and get that in there. Yeah, baby. This ain't going to be no bland chow mein around here. Okay, now the oyster sauce. Don't try to embarrass me. I'm going to throw you in the trash. Come on out of here. Come on out of here, demon. There we go. Put that in there. This, we're going to toss it in at the end. Don't mix that in. Give this a good mix until everything is fully dissolved. And go on ahead and sit this to the side. Your sauce is done. As you can see, I've removed the core from the cabbage. I'm going to do this in nice thin strips. The best thing about this recipe, y'all, is you can use whatever vegetables you want. You do not have to use exactly what I had. You can add mushrooms. You can add really whatever you got. It's completely up to you, okay? But do not use, I didn't, I'm not going to use that whole head of cabbage because this right here is more than enough. Also, please make sure you're using common sense and thoroughly wash off every single one of your vegetables. And I'm going to show you why in a few seconds when we get to that bok choy. As far as the green onion are concerned, you want to go on ahead and just remove this bit here. You don't want that. Then we're going to separate the whites. We're going to set that to the side. And then I'm just going to do this in thirds. That's it. So that now green onion's done, go wash it. In this bowl that you see here to the side, I have the whites from those green onions. I wanted to keep those separated because I'm also going to be going in and adding the onions to this as well. Like I said, these are sweet Vidalia onions. You can use as much or as little as you would like. That's the best thing about chow mein. It really is up to your discretion. You put in it whatever the hell you want to put in it. But I'm going to be frying these up together. So I just wanted to make sure that these are all in the same bowl so that that way when I go to fry them, they'll already be in order together. All right, let's talk about baby bok choy. If you've never worked with it before, baby bok choy clearly is a root vegetable. But the reason why I wanted to really take my time and tell y'all why you need to clean this, you see that? That's dirt, okay? And every last one of these pockets, it is filled with dirt. So you need to make sure that you go in and open every last one of these up, take them over to the sink and thoroughly, thoroughly wash them because every last one of these is filled with dirt in that little pocket. So please don't be trifling and skip this step. I'm going to go on ahead, give this a rinse off and give this a rough chop. I'll be right back. When I got my bok choy nice and beautifully cleaned, this is exactly how you want it. I'm honestly just going to go in and just give this a rough chop. That's it. Set this to the side. I'm almost certain y'all do not need to sit here and watch me do this. And if you do, baby, you might not need to be cooking. But clearly, you want to remove the stems from the carrots. We're going to discard that. You can use as much or as little as you would like. This is trash. We don't use that. Of course, get yourself a damn vegetable peeler. Go in, peel your carrots until it's nice and clean. Then once you get them peeled, you're going to take it over to the sink. Give it a good washing down. Also, just so you guys know, I'm not going to be slicing this down with a knife. I'm going to be going in with the peeler to get it nice and thin. I'll show you all that when I get back. I'm going to peel these and get them washed and then I'll come back. 
All right, now that I got my carrots nice and clean, I'm gonna go in and like I said, I actually want them to be nice and thin, so I'm actually not gonna go in with a knife. I'm going to actually be slicing them this way because this is about how thin I want them to be, paper thin. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna continue to do this until these are fully done. And then I think we're pretty much ready to start assembling this. I'll show you how to make the chow mein noodles in just a split second, I'll be back. I got my carrots here vertically in the strips, and so now I'm gonna do is just cut them in half, and now I have all of my carrots ready to go. I'm also working on um, mincing down four large cloves of garlic. Please use fresh for this recipe. This recipe, as you can see, is very easy. Yes, it is a lot of prep work, yes. But because there aren't that many ingredients in it, you just wanna make sure that it's honestly, as fresh as possible. You know, you don't have to take the time if you don't want to to shred the carrots or shred the cabbage or, you know, mince the garlic. But to be honest, that kind of takes away the fun. You know, that's the whole joy of cooking is going in and taking the time to prepare things and knowing that you put in all this extra effort and using organic ingredients and all that type of stuff. Now, of course, honey, I understand that everybody ain't got money nor got time to be doing all of this. But if you have the resources and if you have the time to do so, Go on ahead and try it, honey. I promise you it will make a difference. Let me give y'all a rundown of everything we've worked on so far. Get these noodles made and then it's time to throw this shit together. All right, so we have our onions, the whites from the green onion in a separate bowl. We have our cabbage prepped. We have the greens from the green onion, our bean sprouts, our garlic ready to go, our bok choy and our carrots. Now, as you can see, by having all of this stuff prepped and ready to go, when it comes down time to putting this in the pot, all of this besides this is all getting thrown in essentially at the same time. So by having it prepped and ready to go to just make your life a lot easier. Also, stop concerning y'all selves with that damn Cheerio box, okay? That's the reason why y'all food coming out burnt up and tore up. Because you're paying attention to what's going on in the background instead of paying attention to the food. Now that my water has come up to a boil, I'm going to add in both of my packs, boil these for four minutes, drain them, and rinse them. I allowed this to go for about four minutes. Like I said, now I went in thoroughly rinsing this off. And now it is time to craft our chow mein, honey. All right, y'all, let's go. Now, chow mein does require a lot of oil. So my advice to you is just add it in as you need it. Don't start off with too much. Add in the greens from the chalice. I don't know why people always call my damn phone when they know I'm trying to make a recipe for the TikTok. Anyway, as I was trying to say, Add in a little bit of oil at a time. Now we're going to go in and we're going to fry up these onions and also the whites from the green onion. All right, now that we're starting to see some color on that, go on ahead and add in your garlic. Cook that up as well. All right, here we go. Add in your cabbage, your green onion, your bean sprouts, the bok choy, and your carrots. Give all of that a good mix around. You wanna allow this to cook for a few minutes. We wanna to try to get some char on some of these vegetables and also allow it some time to wilt down. All right, this has wilted down just the way I wanted to. Now I'm gonna go in and add in my chow mein noodles. Go in and give this a good mix. Now that I got this nicely mixed, I wanna allow to get some char on the bottom, so I'm just gonna leave it alone for about a minute or so. This is looking beautiful, so now I'm gonna go in and add in that delicious sauce and give this a good mixing, honey. Bye. Do you see that? <laughs> Baby, I'm gonna let this brown up a little bit and then it's time for a taste test, honey. I'll be back in a few minutes. My God on today. Jesus. I'll be back. Baby, how the song go? Do you see what I see? Yes, sir. Oh, bitch, we about to eat tonight. Oh, yeah. Let me go on for a taste test, honey. Do y'all see this? Child, bye. Who y'all know out here cooking like this? Here we go. Taste test. I'm about to burn the shit out of myself, but it's okay. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Baby! Hey! Panda who? Huh? Call me T.Y. Box Express. Mm, mm, mm. Bye. Just. Mm -mm. Mm. 